Major shakeup in the White House as the chief of staff is reportedly expected to step down after two years. This comes as President Joe Biden's lawyers announced that the U.S. Justice Department searched the president's Delaware home yesterday and found six more classified documents. Lucas Tomlinson is at the White House with the latest. Ron Klain, the president's chief of staff, plans to resign in the coming days. That's according to multiple media reports, including The New York Times, who first reported this story. This comes as Democrats want to see the investigation into President Biden's handling of classified documents be ramped up. I want the facts. I want the Department of Justice to be completely thorough, completely honest, and I want the facts. We need to know who knew, when did they know, and why did they choose to keep it secret from the American people for, again, more than two months and again right before an election. And now two Democratic senators, Tim Kaine and Joe Manchin, say they also want to see the classified documents investigated with more urgency. Senator Manchin telling our colleagues at Fox Digital, quote, the reports about President Biden's mishandling of classified documents are extremely irresponsible and disturbing. These allegations should be investigated fully. Joe Biden first arrived in Washington as a U.S. senator 50 years ago this month when Richard Nixon was president. Four years later, Biden sank Jimmy Carter's pick to lead the CIA over the nominee's illegal possession of classified documents he had taken with him from the White House years earlier to write a book. President Biden had declined to comment about his classified documents when repeatedly asked by reporters. Then the president spoke quite candidly on Thursday, making the following claim. I think you're going to find there's nothing there. I have no regrets. I'm following what the lawyers have told me they want me to do. It's exactly what we're doing. There's no there there. Thank you. President Biden's approval rating has dipped to around 40 percent near the lowest of his presidency.